Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen, my name is Saiken and today we're going to continue our no short run where we're trying to beat the game on the highest difficulty with permanent dark events with only swords and sorcery aka psi abilities, no shots, no uh, heavy weapons, nothing and this time for yet another mission getting an engineer some more intel to finally re liberate the entirety of the world. It is pretty much end game, and we need to like, uh, go through uh, the motions of a few more a month before we can kill the last of the Chosen and then go on our hunt for those sweet, sweet Golden Path missions. In order to do that, uh, let's get our team uh, sorted. This here looks like a pretty damn good team and matter of fact I think this is actually exactly the team that we're going to use. So let's jump right into the action. We got all of the weapons, we got three mimic beacons, we got the mine shields and we got plenty of healing. Let's go! Secure the VIP and proceed to the evac box. Good, look at that. We got ourselves an exit point. And the VIP is right with us. Yep. Right with us. So your position isn't concealed for the Cool. We don't have concealment, but that's exactly In where conceal is a fantastic ability, right? Because guess what? It Traveling. gives you concealment. Our Order's confirmed. On the serpent move. suit is a perfect option Hostile forces spotted. to traverse really 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 long distances okay perfect so Sirkim already knows what's up I think we can use a Go second away. conceal Copy that. quick feet is moving up Yeah, we're not going to use more than that. Not yet. I want to make sure that we stay nicely out of reach for them. All right, I'll go. Sona moves way. here. VIP stays with us. Halo Copy moves that. here. Same moves here. I'm still saving two more of the concealments so that we can definitely conceal in the follow-up turns in optimal case uh, these guys are moving a little bit further away which they are doing optimal case is kind of uh, an engagement with blade storm Moving up. Yeah, we're... We're on the way. We're not quite there yet, but we're eventually getting there. I can hear a sector pot. It's never a good sign. We've got a hostile squad here. Almost sounds like the sector pot's right here. So that's a pretty much a death trap oh wow they do have a lot of viewing distance holy moly well you know we could theoretically engage on them but that would mean we're we're up for Pretty big fight. He has a lot of movement. Caleb, on the other hand, does not. So I'm going to conceal. And since I know that I'm going to fight against probably three packs at the same time, might as well make it worthwhile. I hope it's worth it. Careful not to get too close. All right, okay. so far so good. Okay. 
Yeah, that is kind of on the edge and I don't uh, want to trigger them. Optimal case, we can get a blade storm attack off. They're moving a little bit away from the other pack, which is not too bad. I like that. I have eyes on the enemy. Yeah, but that is the sector port pack. At least this pack here moves away. Wait, 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 wait. Did we just see the sector port? Yeah, right up here. The reason why it's so destroyed is because there is a massive sector port up there. Okay, cool. Good, well, it is, it is time. So this is going to be at least two, if not three packs. Starting to nicely hit the Andromedon and hopefully kill it. Softening up uh, the purifier so that we can kill it and killing the Andromedon. Target disabled. Oh, wow. Yeah, there's another pack there. Oh boy, I can already tell you this is going to suck. Okay, well. That's gonna be fun. Uh, let's start with actually handing over team uh, teamwork strong. ability. That way, Zirkim can continue his killing spree. Yeah, I think I'll keep the frostbite for. For the sector port. All right, moving in. Let's engage. Okay, we want to continue giving an ability over so that we do have a Mimic Beacon in front. And I would also like to destroy the Purifier without taking explosion damage. Fantastic. Fantastic, good. So this pack is essentially dealt with. The problem is, oh wow, <laughs> they just clustered. Oh boy. Do we really want to pull four additional enemies? Hmm. Potentially not. On the other hand, it would be absolutely fantastic to haywire this guy. Hundred percent chance to shut him down. Yeah, we're just going to take that. The control enemy would be also nice, but um, it would have pulled two additional packs. So we're in a really, really tough spot here. If we go much closer than our current position, we run the immediate risk of like 
pulling uh, the entire map and we don't want to do that seriously concerned about the sector port here Having a Mimic Beacon would definitely help us out and in drawing these guys closer. And we landed kind of one free round. Good to go. Essentially we're currently just dealing with three. The Stun Lancer will charge in, this guy will uh, die regardless. It's really more a question how to deal with those uh, three enemies. Getting nicely in position certainly helps. Got some hostiles See, and that's exactly the reason why we wanted to make sure that the enemy is, uh, that they were not getting closer to the enemy. Let's position the Mimic Beacon right back here. That way the Sun Lancer will need to charge past us. Yeah, and we're... For now, are just going to take our time to, to get that guy down. We're okay on overall time. Uh, that's not the worst development. Need a medic over here. That is a bit bad because we're going to take one strike. Unless he messes it up and moves to here. Okay, he messes it up. Lucky us. Could have taken okay, a single no, hit. Alright, cool. One down. To go. That was interesting. Um, probably going to trigger the sector pot either way. Might as well do it now and make it worthwhile. Pulling the entire map. done with the uh, with that guy we've got quite a few options regarding combat protocol and we got a few options for zirkim here as well It's not going to kill him together with combat protocol. Well, it is. Together with combat protocol, it's, it's actually level. Okay, perfect. That's going to trigger, by the way, the snakes, most likely. And the codex. Uh, apparently not. Okay. I give you strength. Giving some more teamwork over. So that Zirkem can continue to act. And let's use our combat protocol in a meaningful way. Kill the mech. Fantastic.
All right, like I said, we're ready to pull the entire map. Luckily, they missed. That would have just multiplied the codex. Okay, next turn we're going to Hay uh, to Haywire Protocol. So this guy here could be hit and potentially killed. Not sure though. Good, quick feed. Moving down. Let's try to kill these guys here. Are you kidding me? The Lancer actually dodged that? Oh wow, okay. That is brutal. Reaper. Activating Reaper. Good. We got a couple of potential targets there. One more turn for him, but I don't think we had the Mimic Beacon left. No, we don't. Huh, okay. Well, we need a Mimic Beacon, which means uh, Diva, uh, Halo Pier needs to become our Mimic Beacon for this round. Uh, that's very unfortunate. Alright, let's start. We have Reaper activated. going to use all of our cooldowns to kill as many of them as possible good so that's a starter we're going to advance teamwork we do have comet protocol as a setup yeah, I can only hit the sector pod, and there's nothing wrong with uh, doing that. It's a lot of damage for the sector pod. Might as well use it. Okay, Reaper will now um, start to come into effect. Let's start here. One down. Thousands to go. That's two down. There you go. Uh, before we get uh, to him, Shoot Bearer might be the better target. Why not? We do have untouchable, might as well go all in. This guy's burning, which is good. And Halo moves to here. That way his blade storm will not be wasted. Good to go. They know I'm here now. And I would like to place a Mimic Beacon, like, pretty much up here where every single one of them can see it. Maybe here. Alright, good enough. Oh, 
He gets an action. I was under the impression he would not. Well, lucky us that we deployed the Mimic Beacon. Unlucky us uh, that we did not really get this guy. Lucky us then again that he missed. That way the Mimic Beacon will at least draw some more attention. Oh boy, our Blade Storms are horrible. Alright. Well, that's when we're now getting the uh, getting shot for the first time. Yeah, not a surprise, right? <laughs> the guy grabbed us and we slaughtered him. Unfortunately, the priest did not move first. That's why. We would have gotten the two for one kill right off the bat. Unfortunate uh, turn of events. Let's start healing. Keeping the uh, troop nice and healthy. We have a pretty solid uh, formation there. I think we got one more Mimic Beacon on Quick Feet. So, Quick Feet this time is going to be our Mimic Beacon expert. Diva sort of ignores uh, um, the viper because it's burning and he certainly does not have the burning sensation to kill it boy boy the punchlines okay anyways um zirkin here gets an aid protocol good then, whilst we're at it, one of the biggest problems is the sector port. Using again our enemy protocol to nicely damage it. Should have dealt 10 points of damage. Not sure why it did only deal 5 points. Hmm, strange. Okay. Let's see what we're dealing with. Definitely want to get rid of the sector port, but that's not as easy. I think we're going to go here and that's a solid kill given that our blade storm afterwards should hopefully hit quick feed will use the beacon yeah this here is a problem lightning field could could be devastating but we gotta take the sector port there's no way around it it is just too strong elsewise late storm should deal with it but we're giving out the next eight protocol Let's see what we're going to do up here. The fear will soon will soon fade. Viper is potentially dead. The, he, that Viper might pull us with a tongue grab. Codex is irrelevant for now. And the shield bearer is burning. If we play our cards right, we can actually kill it. Unfortunately, not immediately, but next turn it will die due to fire that will not trigger untouchable which is too bad but i think we're fine um the there's a good chance 
uh, that this viper here will tongue grab us and we will just retaliate okay and in terms of just doing the right things right how about we're moving up here that way we do have two blade storm attacks against that guy and how about further we're placing the mimic beacon like over here that way the sector pot's not directly running into us and when it explodes it hopefully deals only damage to one entity quickly takes another aid protocol just in case if the codex starts to do anything suspicious that's two kills from the burning which is fantastic worked out just like i wanted it this should trigger bladestorm kill unfortunately nothing that i can do about the explosion and this should be a bladestorm kill but, or bladestorm sustenance Good, good. Seven more turns. We're eventually getting there. Zirkin, Zirkin takes a bit of a heal. Before, right afterwards. Taking down the Codex. Well, or at least splitting it. Very nice. We got Implaceable and Untouchable, that's why we can move up, kill this guy, kill get Implaceable, move okay. back and Bladestorm the guy once he's out of his sustenance. And finally, time to deal with the last Big Viper. Deal. Implaceable, uh, just for good measure. Alright, moving into cover. And we are done. There's only one enemy left. Correction, there is no more enemy left. Look, given all of the circumstances, like how the map was designed and how we basically ran into this absolute shit show of, uh, of an engagement i already knew that it would hurt right like there was no way to sugarcoat that we would definitely take a beating location confirmed but yeah all things considered we came out of it quite unscathed. There's probably an, another Andromedon here, at least it sounds like it. But I tell you what, I'm not particularly keen in finding out where exactly that guy is. Unless it's enemy protocol, which it is not. We don't need it. Accessing system. Hilarious, by the way, that none of 
our specialists has even made it um, out of the starting area like they were just standing there using all of their support abilities and shift their actions towards the front line and that was pretty much about it but yeah we have four turns left It worked quite well. Must say I am pleased. We took just a tiny bit of damage overall. I think two of the soldiers got lightly um, injured. And yeah, overall, worked like a charm. I mean... We effectively fought four packs, right? The first one, Andromedon plus uh, plus Codex, then Heavy Mech plus uh, the Priest, then a Priest Stun Lancer Elite Soldier combo, and then Sectopod plus three on top of that, and then on top of it, just one round later, the Double Viper plus Codex. So. Essentially, we engaged over the course of like one or two rounds, 16 enemies at the same time, but still managed to deal with it. So the setup is not as bad um, as it could be. Like melee only, it's maybe not viable, but if you play it right, it doesn't suck. And we're back. Let's see. Yeah, light wounds, a little bit tired. But yeah, we got an engineer and quite a bit of intel. Engineer. Fantastic. Let's staff the guy here, although we're really not building much uh, projects in there. Cool. Fantastic. With the newfound intel, we can make contact. Oh, 160. Sorry, I stand corrected. We can install a radio de relay and then start making contact. Like Volunteer army, well. pretty good. Sounds like my reapers can take on some new orders. A new chance to disrupt the elders' plans. Has can reduce the avatar pro uh, progress even further, and we got plus four aim, which normally would be fantastic. In this particular challenge here, uh, not so much. Got a lot of promotions. Hacking reward isn't bad. Ooh, oh, 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 wait, wait, wait. Finishing should further improve the balance of swords. Damage plus one. Okay, all right. We got a winner. It's not even close. It is not even close. Promotion. Whom do we want to promote? I think it's clear we're going to go with um, with Maximilian Richter. Although he is, he should be really close to a promotion already. So you could make an uh, vested argumentation to take someone like Zirkim who seems to level incredibly slow. But yeah, let's take him, scientist, and let's just use an extra soldier. Yeah, we got a sword upgrade. That is, that is exactly what I was looking for. Plus one damage, super important because we have no other means of really upgrading it commander the aliens are still moving forward on the avatar project taking out that facility would deal a serious blow to their efforts this good plus one hit an point breakthrough. and yeah we can almost get the bursa uh, the queen bursa armor for free like i said uh, it is a good piece of armor but i don't think that we will be able to use it 
Fantastic. Both are now training their last skill. So we're almost at that point where we can get uh, the second uh, set of recruits. Our team is actually quite efficient. As Dr. Valen noted in her own report, it was irresponsible and borderline irrational for her to have pursued this research. Well, knowing the incredible risks we don't need involved, pistols. Not just to herself, but to what little of humanity as a whole remains. Let's just do Andromedon. Personally, I find the chosen disconcerting. The elders' attempt at humanizing our enemy will make it all the more difficult for our troops to face them in battle. Perfect. Rage suit. Immediately available. Taking two extra uh, vests. And I think the biggest problem now is that we can't really use um, the rage suit because if you look at it just as an example and you would hand it in yep fantastic rage suit but you would get a heavy weapon that you can never use so although it has certain advantages such as like a little bit more hit points good mobility more armor and so on and so forth i think we're going to stick with the normal warden armor yeah a bit wasted but that is fine soon ish we should think about going here because uh, that triggers the last alien ruler and it probably would not be wrong to have the icarus suit soon ish these findings will likely prove crucial to our ongoing efforts command Proximity mine, fantastic, but not what we're looking for. In combat well after the original wearer has expired is remarkable. I must consult with Shin for further study into this. Good, let's get some more intel. I will send word as soon as we have something of note. Once we got that, we can also shop at the black market next turn. Fantastic. Roby and Hogbite just made it to level 3 with their bond. That is great. And we wanted to train some more rookies. Uh, that remain on the sergeant rank. So we got on the sergeant rank two rangers, specialist, aka Rainman, and a skirmisher. Meaning one more ranger and one more um, specialist should be sufficient. This guy here is gifted. That's pretty damn good. Which then again helps because if we ever need to take him onto a mission with his gifted status, he can even skill combat protocol. There you go. Didn't cost a single point from our XCOM ability points. And that way he has medical protocol and combat really protocol. You. Good. Making contact. Really and now we finally, so to speak, own the entire world. We got double agent going. So there is a chance that we're going to be joined by a uh, an advent soldier. At the same time, we also very soon have uh, the covert, um, the resistance order going that helps us to get uh, uh, resistance operatives. So we have two ways of getting another soldier in the mission. And that's really it. We're continuing to scan for wars. intel, got enough supplies. Let's finish the month. And hopefully the training here goes well. Yeah, dark VIP mission. Not particularly keen to do that now, but I also don't want to lose the area. There's another sector port. Pretty heavy resistance here. But it might make for an interesting mission. 
So before we jump in, let's just double see what the next uh, double check what the next steps are going to be. I think priority. we're almost done with researching Advent Purifier Corpse, and then we're pretty much done. We're then going to transition into the Shadow Chamber very very soon. We're going to um, finish the training of Edgar Alien Poe. Then that means and soon after Dark Tower will also be finished. So those two would be like fully equipped perfect uh, Maguses that um, have all abilities, which is super helpful in this run. Um, next step then would be to, to start the training and eventually also do the resistance ring mission to find the stronghold of uh, the hunter yeah the upgrade technical advances are going to be good because uh, then our swords are finally dealing just a tiny bit more damage uh, which will be helpful and other than that i think you know overall it looks pretty favorable for us we got quite a few kernels they haven't lost anyone in a while and I'm pretty sure that we will get the majors and the captains um, uh, promoted to colonel as well. Sonar will get a promotion automatically to colonel but yeah the rest here will eventually also be promoted sooner or later. And that brings us to the end of uh, today's mission if you like the run and if you like the idea behind it uh, give it a thumbs up leave a comment down below and see you in the next episode. Bye bye guys.